Hi, I'm Karen Demi. I'm a pilot with Bombardier Aerospace, based at the factory in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. At the factory, we make the Q400 and the Global Express. Hi, I'm Brian Price. I'm the chief pilot in the Q400 at Toronto. And uh, like Karen, uh, we've delivered this airplane to the Paris Air Show. Karen, do you want to tell people about the group? So this is a brand new aircraft and our ferry flight involved three stops. So our first stop after Toronto was Goose Bay, Labrador. Then we continued on to Reykjavik, Iceland. And then we made a short stop in Glasgow and then here to Paris. In total it was uh, approximately 10 hours of flying. Which is pretty fast when you consider this is a turboprop. Old-fashioned technology apparently, but it's pretty fast, I must say. What altitude were you flying at? Flight level 250. Uh, all the way from Toronto on all segments and our speed was uh, about 365 knots true that, airspeed. Was that maximum? That was our maximum speed. How fast can the plane go? 365. All out? All out. What was fuel burn like uh, across the Atlantic? Let's see, we burnt uh, approximately 2,000 pounds per hour so across the Atlantic, uh, I guess the longest leg we had was from Goose Bay to Reykjavik. It was approximately four hours, so we burnt around, uh, I guess, 8,000 pounds of fuel. And when you go back, how long do you think the trip's going to take? I think the way back will be around the same. We had quite, um, on average, quite neutral winds. They neither a strong headwind or tailwind, so it should be approximately the same going back, I think. Any thoughts about flying across the North Atlantic in a turboprop, twin-engine turboprop? Thoughts? Well, done it lots of times. This airplane is uh, very reliable. Never had any problems with it, and I've done it probably 50 times or more now. So, um, no, I'm quite comfortable. Enjoy the flight. It's great. No, there's been, never been any issues. Um, the destinations are fun. The flying's uh, pretty straightforward. As long as you uh, plan your trip properly, there's really no, nothing to be concerned about. And the route that you flew is the typical delivery. Uh Yes, pretty much for the this aircraft uh, with the equipment on board, uh, we would do the northern route, which is uh, across Greenland and Iceland and into Europe. So we vary the route from time to time. Sometimes we go through Bergen, uh, sometimes we go through Glasgow, and just depending on the winds and the fuel, we go as far as we can into Europe before we land and get fuel and continue on our trip. Thank you.